Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had an amazing New Year's Eve. I had a very relaxing and fun one myself and New Year's Day was pretty chill. I had a movie marathon on the couch all day long which was pretty awesome. I wanted to make a video for you guys all about my favorite or what I consider the best of 2015 makeup. Now I decided to focus just on makeup because there's a lot I wanted to get through and I didn't want this video to be too long. So if you want to see, you know, skincare and hair and things like that, let me know and I'll do a video with other beauty products that aren't makeup. But for today's video, I'm just focusing on makeup. So you guys might want to get comfortable because I have a lot to get through and this is going to be a really long video. Don't be mad. You can fast forward. Uh, my feelings won't be hurt. I'm going to separate this out by areas of the face. So without further ado, I'm just going to get right into it. Okay, so I'm going to start with the face because I'm kind of going to go in order of how I like to do my makeup because I just feel like in my head it's the easiest thing to do. Okay, I'm going to start off with primers. So the first primer that really stands out to me when I opened my drawer creating this video and I'm like, okay, what were my favorite primers this year? The first one that jumped out at me was the Cover FX Mattifying Primer. I, this is almost gone. I used almost the entire tube of it. It really does keep my oil at bay. I do really get shiny right in here. It's always a problem. I have huge pores right there and that's why it produces more oil. So mattifying primers are really my best friend. The next best was one that I recently tried which is Makeup Forever's Step 1 Skin Equalizer Primer in the base. It, it's just the mattifying primer. This primer comes in several different types. So there's one for nourishing, there's one for redness, there's one for hydrating. I have a few of them and I love them all, but I just figured I'd make mention of the mattifying one because I really like it a lot. And the last one I wanted to make mention of was from Pure Minerals. This is their correcting primer prep and perfect. I love this. This was really good and I used quite a bit of this as well and this is just like a go-to everyday primer it will keep my makeup in place it doesn't have any particular specialty like you know getting rid of redness or mattifying or anything it's just really great it just smooths out your skin and it just makes a great canvas for your foundation so I really recommend this one also okay moving on to foundation I mean there's really one foundation that outshined the rest this year for me and that was the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Best foundation ever. Um, it really just looks like skin. It makes your skin look amazing. I highly recommend this. I can't say enough about it. I haven't met a single person who didn't love this foundation who's, who's tried it. Go to Sephora, get a sample, it's free. Try it, it will change your life, I promise. The other foundation that I really loved this year was the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. This is something I tried recently. Love it. Really, really good. It's meant for Ultra HD, new technology, so it's supposed to make your skin look really great in um, on camera and in situations where you get up close and personal. These two together changed my life. I loved this one by itself. I loved this one by itself and then I decided hey if I love them both why don't I put them together and try them together and yeah so good really when you find a product that you love and then you find another product that you love try it marry them together see what happens you might create an amazing foundation baby like I did so another product worth mentioning is the cover effects custom drops custom cover drops this product is awesome because you basically can take any facial moisturizer and turn it into foundation with a couple of drops. You can also take a foundation that's not the right color for you and put a few drops of this and change the color of that. Because really, I have so many different colored foundations and like I have a Cogen Doe foundation I love and it's way too light for me and I just mix it with a little bit of this and it's magic. Another foundation type pro product that I felt like was really awesome and worth talking about was the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. This is a very little container because 
it's not really foundation, though you can use it as foundation because it does have full coverage. What it does is it just basically magically erases any redness on your face. So it comes in a little tube like this and it's a very concentrated, heavy, thick, moussey like formula. And you just need a very little bit. And you just dab it on the areas where you have redness and use your little beauty blender to pat it out. If you have like a red patch like right here, if it's like that time of the month and you get it like right around your nose, you just put it right there and it evens everything out. It's awesome. And if you're somebody who doesn't like a lot of coverage and you don't need like heavy foundation but you do have redness, this is going to be your best friend. So typically what I do when I'm super red is I'll put this on over my primer and then I put my foundation over it and it's just perfect. And then for the summer months when you don't want heavy foundation and you want to do a BB cream, I figured I would pick, you know, my best, I think what is the best BB cream I found last year and that was the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. I used this for a, a good portion of the year in place of foundation because it's just so dang awesome. There's really, I mean, it's so good. It's like serum and it's super hydrating but it's got good coverage and you use a nice um, full coverage concealer with it and you're good to go. Because it's not a full coverage. It's kind of like medium I would say. But if you use a good concealer with it, doesn't matter. And I like full coverage and I love this product. So I have it in a bunch of different shades and I mix them together depending on what time of year it is and what my skin's doing. If I'm super pale or if I'm you know, tanned up. So I really recommend this. So moving on with the face, I'm going to go into concealers. So I would say one of the best concealers I tried recently, and it's by Bare Minerals, it's the Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. And again, it's like all of their Bare Skin products I just think are phenomenal because they're like serums. So they're very, very hydrating. Like their bare skin foundation is one of my all time favorites. It's like so good. And this is just as good. It I have it on right now. It's so hydrating. You don't crease under here because of how hydrating it is. It's not like super thick and heavy. It's really light and creamy, but it gives you like really good coverage and it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything under there, really. It's awesome. One that really stood out to me this year that was uh, new and a surprise was Pure Minerals, the Disappearing Ink Concealer. This also is very serum-y like in the sense that it looks very glowy, it's very hydrating, you will not crease under the eye, it's amazing and it's got really good coverage. I loved this. I This is actually empty. I think my shade is light. and. I used this as highlight as well as concealer and um, I think I probably have a teeny tiny bit left in there but um, it was awesome. The biggest surprise of all was a drugstore brand, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I have something in my teeth. This is an awesome concealer. It has a little felt tip applicator. You can just dot it on, use your beauty blender or a brush to buff it out. Great coverage, super brightening, long wearing, drugstore, seven bucks. So worth it. This was this is my second one and it's halfway gone. And I have a lot of concealers. And I try to rotate and this is my second one. So I mean I went through a lot of this this year and I just I die for it. It's so so good. So next we're talking about bronzer. There was really only one bronzer this year that I felt like I wanted to mention. And I know I'm like mentioning, you know, two or three products in every category so far, maybe a few more. But for bronzer there was really only one and it was a new to me product. Surprise, surprise, because I know a lot of YouTubers swear by this product, but it's the Hula by Benefit. It really lived up to the hype. It's great for bronzing, it's great for contouring. The shade is just perfect. It's, you know, that perfect it's not too warm, not too cool, it's not too ashy, it's not too muddy, it's just like the perfect shade. For blush, there was really two blushes that I used the most this year. The first one was the Borghese Blush in Stunner. I used it for so many tutorials. I know you guys might be sick of seeing me use this and talk about this, but it really is my favorite blush. 
Um, it's a like peachy bronzy color. It has a few like gold flecks in it, but it doesn't really come out on your skin that way. It's just glowy and beautiful and I have it on right now. I actually mixed it with my other favorite, which is from Sonia Kashuk. Surprisingly, this is called Melon and this is just a powdered blush from her and I don't remember how much this was, but I did get it at Target and it is awesome and I actually mixed those two together. The only the difference really is this one you can see is a little bit more pinky than this one. This one's more of like a peachy bronze. So I kind of wanted a little bit more color than just this one. This one I've actually been using quite a bit lately because I felt like I needed to give this one a rest, even though I really hate giving it a rest because I love it so much. But these two are definitely my favorite and two totally different price points. So. Um, these blushes are really great. They have staying power. I hate it when you put on a blush and like an hour later you don't even look like you have any on. So this one has staying power and is really awesome. So. Okay, so on to highlighters. The best highlighter of the year award goes to none other than Becca Cosmetics for Champagne Pop because I mean everybody in America if you don't have this, you need this. This is the best highlighter in the world, ever in life. And I swear to God, Becca, if you take this off the shelves, I'm gonna hunt you down. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's the best ever. Like if this goes away, I'm gonna cry. I've been tempted to go like stock up and buy like four pans of it just to have, but I'm like, that's kind of excessive. But is it though? Is it? There have a couple of other ones that people swear by and I haven't tried yet. I kind of wanted to get the, the new palette with like three, I think there's like three shades in it, including Champagne Pop. I was tempted, but I haven't yet because I do have some others that I love and really I have a drawer full of highlighters and it's just, I keep telling myself like you don't need to buy anymore, but if this goes away, I might die. The other one that I really loved this year was not new, but new to me, was the Mary Luminizer by The Bomb, and I got all of the Luminizers by The Bomb this year, and they're all awesome, but this one I just loved. It's just so pigmented. It's like a true golden highlight. So if like these two had a baby, it would be this one. See what I mean? Because this one has like more peachy tones and this one has more gold tones and this one has like a little bit of both. You know what I mean? So that's why like I love this one so much. And this one isn't as like bam in your face when you apply it. It's a little more subtle so it kind of looks more like that glow from within. However, if you want it to be super in your face like see you from out of space glow that these other ones have, all you have to do is dip your brush in, spray it with Fix Plus, apply and it's in your face see you from space Highlight. i love this and i am a little stressed that it is in such a small little package because i feel like it's going to go away real quick and largella if there's one thing i can request it's make this bigger because it is so bomb dot com that if i run out i'm going to cry okay so i think with the face oh so there's one more thing i want to talk about best palettes there's only one I'm just gonna leave it at that. If I want to talk about like the best, like the best of the best, like there is nobody that really is as good as this. <sighs> this palette is life itself. It is so good. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. I mean, you can see, first of all, can we talk about on camera? These two colors over here are like glowing. They're just glowing from the palette. They have halos around them. That's where you're putting on your face. I mean, you want some glow and these powders are everything. The only bad side to this palette, the only bad side, is you cannot buy these individually. If you really love this banana shade like I do and you run out, you're screwed. You gotta buy the whole palette. And that really bums me out. And Kat, hook a girl up and sell these individually because I love this palette. I wanted to make mention of some makeup setting sprays that I thought were stand out. And the first one is the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. This spray is really, really awesome. If you're looking at for something a little bit on the higher end side, it's great. It gives you a little bit of dew, but it really locks your makeup in place and it does not make you look greasy because as I mentioned, I have greasy issues and this is really still awesome for me. And my favorite all time 
of this whole year is the NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. $7.99 I think. Best ever. Now I'm not saying that there aren't good ones out there that I haven't tried. This really is the best one I've tried. It's so good and it's so cheap or inexpensive should I say. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the eyes. Eye primers, eyelid primers, eyeshadow primers, whatever you want to call them. I've heard some rumors that Too Faced makes a really good one. I haven't tried it, so I can't speak to that. But really, there's no one better that I've ever tried. They've got the market cornered. Urban Decay Mega Primer Potion. <laughs> Next I want to talk about eyeliner. First I'm going to talk about pens because I know a lot of people are anti-pens. A lot of people are like super into gel and I am too. I like gel, don't get me wrong, but I tend to reach for a pen most of the time, like for every day. I don't know why because it's just fast and easier for me personally. I have three favorite pens. Two of them are Kat Von D. So the first one is the Tattoo Liner. And what I love about this is it has a super pointy tip. Can you see that? And I like to use this one for drawing the wing on the outside because you can get a really super sharp, razor sharp line on the corner. And then like I'll draw out the wing and then I go in with the ink liner. And the ink liner is super, super black, but it has a little fatter tip to it and I use that to fill everything in, but it gives me that like super jet black color that I love. And the Bomb Schwing, love this pen. This is one of those pens that I swear to God, every time I use it, my eye makeup, I do my eyeliner and it looks good the first time. And for gel liner, clear winner of the year, best gel liner is Tartist by Tarte Cosmetics for a couple of reasons. One, the formula is bomb. It does not dry out, it does not flake, it goes on smooth and creamy and amazing and it stays put all night long. The other is for the packaging. Most normal gel liners come in like a tube so you open it up and you gotta like scoop some of the product. So what happens with those is they dry out really fast. This one because it's in a tube you just pull out what you need into this little pan at the end and you just take what you need and use it. And so it keeps everything inside like fresh to death. So Moving on to mascara. Lancome's Hypnose Drama is my favorite, favorite, favorite mascara. Except for Makeup Forever's Smoky Lash that I don't think exists anymore and I wanna cry because it was the best of all time but we won't talk about that. This one is awesome. It is super black and it lengthens, it volumizes, it's everything in life. But if I run out of this, there are a few others that I felt like were worth mentioning that are like kind of my backups that I go to. The first one is Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes. Um, this is just a mini. I don't know why. I just pulled out a mini. It's my travel one that I put in my travel bag. Benefits, they're real. This is another mini. I don't know why I grabbed these. Really gets in there, really lengthens. And then the other one is also from Benefit. It's the Roller Lash. and. This really curls your lashes and makes them look amazing, but I only use this on my top lashes. The reason is, is if I put them on the bottom, like I'll just be like out during the day and I'll look and I'll have like little remnants of mascara here, almost like it ran or something. I don't, I don't know why and I don't know if that happens to anybody else. If it does or doesn't, let me know, but it doesn't happen when you use it on your top lashes. So I use it on my top lashes and I love it it's really good okay moving on to shadows I am a palette person I love shadow palettes I have so many I, it's like I collect them but I don't but I do there are a few that I go to over and over again and there are some that I just keep for when the mood strikes but there are a few clear-cut amazing palettes this year that I really wanted to talk about best shadow palette for color is by far the Urban Decay Vice Palette. First of all, I mean look at this packaging. It's stunning. It's so good. And it came in like a little zippy pouch, which I don't have in front of me right this second. This is like when you really want to play 
and have fun with some bold colors. There's a lot of shimmers, there's a few mattes, and the colors are stunning. So gorgeous. Best palette for warm tones, to me, is the Zoeva Cocoa Blend Palette. Okay, first off, Zoeva is a new to me brand this year, and I'm obsessed with them. Like, obsessed. They're so, so good. And this is the Cocoa Blend Palette. I've used it in a few tutorials. I've talked about it in my favorites video. It's just, look at these colors. They're shimmery, they're just creamy and gorgeous, and they're not a creamy shadow, but they apply so like creamy and buttery and beautiful, and I don't know, they're just so freaking amazing. And then my favorite or best neutral palette is from Borghese. This palette is so, so good if you uh, are a neutral lover like me. I love neutrals. I would wear neutrals every day, forever and ever, to the end of time. This palette I took with me the entire month I was traveling last month. It's the only palette I needed. If I wanted to do smoky looks, I have all this down here. If I wanted to do day looks, I have all this here. Something in between. I mean, there's just so much to play with. These colors are super pigmented. They're gorgeous. If you just look, want one really great neutral palette, this is all you need. All right, so I'm gonna move on to lashes. Two clear cut lash winners for 2015. I've got my really super glam favorite and my everyday favorite. So for everyday is by far Ardell's 120 Demi Wispies. I can wear these during the day, I can wear these at night. They are appropriate in any occasion, all the time, and they give me the most beautiful finished look. My, glam, my favorite glam, and I like mutilated this box, but is by House of Lashes, and it is the Featherette. Now, I want to say, everyone talks about Iconics. I love Iconics. I love Iconics just like everybody else. However, Iconics are really unwearable. I just want to put this out there. They are so long and thick and glam that like you can't go out to the grocery store in Iconics. And if you do, go for yours, girl. But me, I can't. Like I live in a beach community and I look ridiculous going to the grocery store in these crazy, you know, glam lashes. And I always wanted to find something like the Ardell Demi Wispies, but that's slightly more glam, but it's still very wearable. And that is the featherette. And they're crooked because I wore them and put them back in the package. But this is kind of a dupe in a, in a way. But you can see it's a little thicker and more wispy than the Ardell's. These are stunning. I wore these on New Year's Eve. Not in my tutorial, but like actually on New Year's Eve for the first time. And I got so many compliments on them. And they're just amazing. They're just so good. Right now I actually have the boudoir um, style from House of Lashes. That's what I'm wearing right now. And I love those as well. I've just tried like a bunch of new styles from them. And the new ones are better than the old ones really. Because like I have Noir Fairy, Iconic, Bambi, and Siren. Noir Fairy was probably my favorite, but it was still a little over the top. Still a lot over the top, who am I kidding? These I would actually wear out. They're not too crazy. I don't know if they're shorter or not, but they're just a little bit more wearable. All right, so I want to move on to brows. Best brow combo on the planet goes to the one and only Anastasia Beverly Hills. So the best brow combo, I think, is Brow Wiz for the tail, the Brow Powder Duo for the front, and set with the clear brow gel. These three together will give you the best brows you've ever had. Hashtag brow game strong. But my backups. I felt like IT Cosmetics really came out of the gate with some amazing, this brow powder, and I don't know, maybe, it, I don't know how new it is, but it's really good. Um, I, I was really skeptical when I tried it, but it really, really does work well um, as like a brow whiz type of thing. It's definitely great to replace or as a dupe, or if you're just looking for something a little less expensive. And then the other one that I tried this year that I thought was definitely worth a mention is the Pure Minerals Wake Up Brow. 
And what I liked about this one is that it's dual sided. So on the one side you have your pencil and on the other side you have a highlight shade. So I don't know if you can see that. And the highlight shade is nice. You can see right here because if you like to carve it out with concealer this will do it for you. And then there's a little brush on the end which I'm not a huge fan of in place of the spoolie. I think the spoolie is still better but it is nice to have like a little tool and you can just brush. Alright, so we're getting there. We're, we're getting close to the end. So I'm gonna move on to lips next. I wanted to talk about one of the biggest trends of the year which was liquid lipsticks. I have three clear-cut liquid lipstick winners that I think are the best for 2015. The first one I'm obviously going to tell you is Anastasia Beverly Hills. It was the most popular. It came out strong this year. This color is kind of my go-to color for every lip shade on the planet. And you'll see as I show you my lip shades, they're all going to be like roughly a nudie pink or a baby pink or a mauve nudie baby pink. This one is called Peony. I love it. It's very, very good. It does dry after a while, but not immediately. It does have a good long wear. The best of the best of the best is Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. So good. It's what I'm wearing right now. You guys. Kat killed it on the liquid lipstick front. You do not get butthole lips and you will get it with Anastasia after a while. Not right away, but after a while. And most liquid lipsticks, I mean, you can't say like that brand sucks because you get butthole lips. I mean, that's what lips, liquid lipstick does. And then Kat, she comes up with this, it's so awesome. This color is called Love Sick. And I'm love sick over love sick, too much. I, you guys, I just, I can't say enough about this. I mean, I've had it on for hours. And it's perfect, amazing, I don't need to touch it up. And if you want to put some gloss on the top and give it a little shine, you can. World is your oyster. I just recommend this. The last one I felt like was worth a mention was Meet Matt Hughes by The Bomb. I talked about this in a favorites video. I've used this before in tutorials. This one is committed. And I love this because it's uh, a little bit more brown tones than the other two but it's a really beautiful shade I loved it for fall I wore it quite a bit and it does dry out like all liquid lipsticks eventually but I just thought the shade was really nice and I love how these go on and it's just like fun for regular lipsticks there were a couple that I really liked I tried Too Faced in Naked Dolly it's a super nude peachy color that's just gorgeous and these are really hydrating. My lips are really sensitive. So if I use certain lipsticks, my lips will just start peeling and I can peel layers off. They get so dry. I think there's something in lipsticks that I'm allergic to or something because this happens to me and I don't know what it is. So sometimes I just have to try a lipstick and roll the dice. And with the Too Faced, it, this does not happen. These are super hydrating. Another one that I really loved was the Urban Decay Sheer Lip Lipstick in Sheer Besso. And this one also kind of applies in a glossy type way. It's got a sheen to it. It's very, very hydrating. But my best for 2015 is by MAC. And here's the deal. MACs are my tried and true. I've always loved MAC lipsticks for a couple of reasons. One, they do not dry out my lips and I don't have that weird reaction. So whatever's in them agrees with me. Two, they last forever. Like all night long. Like I can eat and they're still there. And I, they don't just start running all over my face. They're the most pigmented. They, they are just the best. There are no lipsticks better than MAC, hands down, in my humble opinion. Okay, for lip liners, there was three lip liners that I loved. One of them I can't find, and I'm so, so sorry. And it was by It Cosmetics, and it was a pinky nude. Shocking. The other two, one is Model Co., and I think I used it this in my New Year's 
glam tutorial and I got this in my ipsy bag and it's really awesome a nude but it's meant to it's called illusion lip liner and it's meant to help you give the illusion of fuller lips and it really does work and I really love it and I have it on right now and then my tried and true everybody's favorite Mac in world it's universal it goes with everything and it's the bottom one it's a little bit more brown in tone but I love it love it love it, it stays on forever eat drink have a great old time and your lip planet is still looking strong so the last lip situation lip gloss I have four that I'm going to show you and they're all pinky nudes but they're all by the same brand and my favorite the clear clear winner for me in gloss this year was Buxom Buxom lip creams, Buxom lip polishes, Buxom glosses till the wheels fall off. Love Buxom glosses. The texture, the consistency, they stay on, the colors are beautiful, you've got your sheers, and sh your shimmers, and you've got your more opaque ones, and I've got, I got the entire gift set, like holiday gift set, and I have a lot of little mini shades, which are awesome for just like throwing in your purse. Um, and for travel and stuff and if you have lip ADD and you just want to try a bunch of different colors the gift set was pretty awesome but I go through these big ones like it's nobody's business my favorite of all time I would have to say is Dolly Dolly's my favorite shade but I this one's Kimberly and it's really good this one. and the last we are at the end but certainly not least is makeup brushes. It Cosmetics foundation brush, the Heavenly Lux flat top buffing foundation brush was a game changer. Like love it. I don't use foundation brushes like ever. But this brush is so good. Like I started using foundation brushes again. The real techniques. Real Techniques just blew me away with their Bold Metals collection and in particular the 301 Contouring Brush. This brush is a rectangle and it is just my go-to holy grail amazing contour brush. I use the side of the brush to draw my line and then I use this part of the brush to blend it down. Can we talk about these? I mean hello, annoying. So I highly recommend this. You can get this at Ulta. And then Real Techniques blew me away with their makeup sponge. My tried and true favorite is the Beauty Blender. And the Beauty Blender is pro specifically because it's black. And even though you can kind of see that I used it today and you can see the makeup, it does hide like self-tanner and stuff like that because my pink ones were getting really dingy. Like if I used self them with self-tanner on my face, it was like staining. The beauty blender and it just wasn't cute like this will come off when I wash it but I love the pro but this one killed me this year like I need a new one it's falling apart it's splitting I've used it every day for months and months and months yeah I need a new one these are my Zoeva brushes and I like I can't ask me which one is my favorite I don't know I can't I can't pick one I use them all the time all of them they're so good. And then my favorite Sigma brush of the year, because I have so many Sigma brushes, and Sigma is like my go-to. This one was new to me this year, and this was the Fan F90. And what I love about this brush is it is so fluffy. It is so great for contour, for bronze, for highlight. It's like just fluffy and it's not too harsh and it also like blends as it's applying so I don't know I just I really like this brush I think that it is one you should have hey, you guys that's my best of for 2015 I hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions about anything please leave it in the comments below also the description box will contain all of the products I mentioned I that was a lot that was a lot this video is gonna be really long but thank you guys so much for watching I love you all so much don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and check out my blog glamlatte.com follow me on Instagram snapchat Facebook Twitter 
All of my details are in the description box below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.